It's Ash from Super Videos back for another reaction to an episode of Better Call Saul. This is my reaction to season 6, episode 9, which is called Fun and Games. The last two episodes have been anything but fun and games. So let's see how this episode is going to turn things around. Last two episodes, we saw two major character deaths. We saw the end of the Lalo reign. He got killed off and obviously... He did some damage before he died. He killed Howard. And at this point, I am definitely extremely intrigued to see how Jimmy and Kim are going to live with the decisions that they've made and the actions that they've done, given what it led to. And the fact that, you know, Howard ended up getting killed because of those decisions and actions. If I were to make a prediction, it's probably going to be Howard's death mixed in with potentially something happening to Kim that's gonna push Jimmy over the edge and push him to become the soul that we know from Breaking Bad. But I could obviously be wrong and they could do something crazy to make that all work out that I can't really see coming at this point. But with that said, I don't really know where the story is gonna go. I mean, we are pretty much done with the story that they've built so far. They haven't really built up anything else, so... I'm intrigued to see how they're going to end the series and how the series is going to kind of line up more with Breaking Bad and maybe even overlap a little bit with Breaking Bad. We're going to have to see if they go that route. But with that said, before we dive into this reaction, as always, smash that like button, subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that, let's dive right into this reaction. So you two are going to go about your day. Same as ever. You Let's see the lie that you've been if doing. that ends up happening. I can see Jimmy doing that, but not Kim. Just going about their business like nothing happened. Oh, Saul Goodman and Associates. That's their office from Breaking Bad. He looks so proud. Like nothing ever happened. <laughs> this kind of proves what I said. Let's see how Kim is handling things. She's doing her thing. Oh, that was a smooth transition. They're cleaning up the apartment, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that was another smooth transition. Breaking Bad was really good at that. We're seeing a lot of that in Better Call Saul now too. We saw that earlier in the show, but it kind of died down, but it's coming back again. So this is like the exact same day. I thought some time has passed. Yeah, it's going to feel really weird and awkward walking into that apartment. Damn. Looks like a different place, <laughs> but... They see the same place, no matter how different it might look. See? This kind of proves what I said earlier as well. One day we'll, uh, we'll wake up and brush our teeth and we'll go to work. And at some point we'll suddenly realize, you know, we haven't thought about it at all. Isn't that what Mike told Jimmy a couple episodes ago? And that's when we'll know. Oh, and also, wasn't that in the teaser at the end of the previous episode? Gus is going right to Don Eladio. That is extremely interesting. I mean, he had to, but let's see how this is going to turn out. It doesn't really help that they buried the body. <laughs> oh, Hector is there too. The whole gang's there. This is going to be super interesting. Don Eladio. Don Juan. Gustavo. Don Hector. Let's not approach Hector at this point. <laughs> Gustavo. Don Hector ha hecho una acusación muy, muy seria. 
El atentado contra mi sobrino en su hacienda falló. Lalo le ganó a los asesinos. El día después del ataque, Lalo me llamó. Escuché la verdad yep. de sus propios labios. That's fact. That's what Black happened. Swing, quien mandó a los asesinos, yep. no los peruanos. Mantuvimos en secreto que Lalo sobrevivió. Mi sobrino estaba a punto de vengarse del traidor. Frente a frente. Pero desapareció. Esto fue obra del pollero. Don Eladio. Indeed it is the chicken man's a los ojos. doing. Allí verá la verdad. El pollero lo odia. Es nuestro enemigo. Él conspira en contra de nosotros. Yo exijo sangre por sangre. We know that's not going to happen. <laughs> Entonces, Gustavo. What do you have to say to that? No tengo respuesta. Oh. Gustavo, debes hablar. No tienes cómo defenderte. Con todo respeto. No me parece que esto merezca una respuesta. Damn. Ustedes presenciaron estas llamadas de Lalo. Pero me han dicho que ustedes vieron el cuerpo de Lalo. Estaba quemado. ¿Y acaso no los federales revisan los dientes? Así es, don Eladio. Mi hermano dice que el registro dental sí coincide. ¿Y qué me dices de esa rata, Varga? ¿Qué dijo antes de morir? Él dijo que los peruanos le pagaban los odios. Sabemos que recibía dinero. Encontramos las cuentas bancarias. Everything is pointing towards Hector being cuckoo. <laughs> Even though we know he's not. Ya es tarde, don Héctor. Sé que vienes de lejos. Esta noche duermes en mi cama. No, insisto. He's not happy. No hay discusión. Te estoy dando mi cuarto. Está a gusto. Y quién sabe, a lo mejor unas de las chicas te visitarán. Buenas His noches. acting is so on point. It's eh, crazy. Chances. He's still ringing that bell. <laughs> Me invitaría que te quedes también, Gustavo, pero... No quiero que me arruine el desayuno con el... <laughs> This is priceless. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Uh... That's gonna become a meme. That's so gonna become a meme. El South Valley seguirá siendo de los Salamanca. Y el resto del norte será tuyo. Trabajando para bolsa. Cuando te miré los ojos, el odio. Un poquito no está mal. Siempre y cuando no te olvides de quién manda. That was actually very solid in terms of writing a character. Like it wasn't cliche. For him to be like, I see no hate, or the other way around. So it's like somewhere in between, which we don't see often done in shows and movies. The doc left these for you in the event that you made it back alive. Tell me about the lawyers. Well, they spent a full afternoon with the cops, played it as they were told, maybe a bit better. The APD consensus is he walked into the ocean and killed himself. Without a body, they can't close the file. Obviously. But for all practical purposes, it's over. When can construction resume? We'd need to find a new engineer and a crew to do the work. That could take some time. Start today. I wonder if we're gonna see the next crew that's gonna come in, or if they're just gonna leave that to our imagination. <laughs> Thank you.
Is Mike gonna go check up on him? Yes. Mr. Vargo, you don't know me. Yeah. But I'd like to talk about your son. Oh, he's gonna tell him about My son. Nacho. What happened? Maybe we could talk face to face. I'm outside. <laughs> so you left him with no choice. What about my son? I'm sorry. He won't be found. It was over fast. No pain. You were there? I was there. Your son made some mistakes. He fell in with bad people. But he yeah, never absolutely liked did. Him. Not really. He had a good heart. One more thing. You won't have to worry about the Salamancas. The day is coming. There'll be justice. Justice? I'm sorry, my Spanish ju judicia justice. What are you talking about? It's not justice. What you talk of is revenge. Mmm, yeah, that was good. Good comeback. Never ends. My boy is gone. Status of cartel. It's so justicia. Tell us only one is. <clears throat> we'll just put in an appearance. 20 minutes tops. We can get through 20 minutes of anything. Look at them. Look how sad they are. <laughs> I miss Howard, man. Can't believe I'm saying it, but I miss Howard. How do they live with themselves? I mean, nobody can How? To a client I don't get it. Them. And it wasn't an act. He genuinely cared. Addiction is a disease. He was a good lawyer and a hell of a guy. What else is there to say? It still doesn't seem real. No. I mean, I expect to see him charging down those stairs with a big grin on his face. You know, this is probably the last time any of us will be in this building. What do you mean? Why is that? Uh, HHM is downsizing. Oh. Seriously? Yep, they're going to take half a floor downtown. Hmm. And they're changing their name. That's the end of HHM. Kim, Jimmy. Kim, hi. Hi, Cheryl. Um, I'm Jimmy McGill. You may not remember me. I'm Chuck McGill's brother. Of course. Very sorry for your loss. <sighs> Cheryl, I'm so sorry. I can't even imagine what you must be going through. If Jimmy and I can do anything for you or your family, please just say the word. There is something, actually. Uh-oh. You two were the gonna... last ones to see him, weren't you? Yeah. Um, I guess so. I, I, that's what the police said. Howard told me that you were harassing him here it is. pranks of some sort. That you wouldn't leave him alone. I know he thought that. He, he told me as well. Um, I think he honestly believed it. They're gonna... You're denying it. Deny it, yeah. They're obviously gonna deny it. You know what? I mean... <laughs> I didn't leave here under the best uh, terms. The past few years, I could have... Um, been more considerate to Howard instead of yitzing him every chance I got. I guess uh, there was a certain amount of jealousy on my part because Howard had the uh, respect of my brother. That's the most truthful he's Tell been <laughs> ever since he stepped into this. Tell me what you told the police. Ceremony. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, I mean, it was 11 p.m. Howard started pounding on our door. He was very upset. He was going on about something uh, he thought was my fault. I uh, guess it had to do with the, the Sandpiper case, but I, I couldn't make head or tail out of it. We tried to calm him down, but he just, he just wouldn't. Um, finally, he left. But that's it. I'm not oblivious. I know people are saying he was on drugs. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I just... 
He just didn't seem like himself. Are you hearing all of this? Because none of it makes sense to me. Cheryl, sure, maybe we should just... I don't care what people are saying. I don't care what the police think. Howard was not on drugs. That simply is not true. There's something more to this. She knows. I don't know if it's my place. She's clever. But... I... I... Please, just spit it out. It was about a year and a half ago. I was still an associate here, working late on a brief. Is she lying? And I saw a light on in Howard's office. I assume the cleaning crew left it on by mistake. And I was sure the office was empty, so I didn't knock. And? And Howard was there at his desk, head down. And he was snorting something. I looked at him. He looked at me. I didn't know what to do, so I just walked out. And the next morning when we saw each Wait other, neither of us said anything about it. I vaguely remember something about this, like a anyone. scene. He might not be lying. But now I wish I had. That's crazy, though. If that was set up, that's crazy. In all the years that you worked with him, have you witnessed anything like this? Even a hint? Cheryl, this really isn't the time of the place. Cheryl. You were his wife. You, you saw him every day. You knew him better than anyone. Maybe I misunderstood what I saw. I don't know if Kim was lying or not. If she was lying, she may as well be Meryl Streep. Because <laughs> I bought it. I thought she was going to break up with him. <laughs> but you could see she's not able to deal with it the same way as Jimmy. And to be honest, that's the normal way. Jimmy's way of dealing with it is the abnormal way. Ms. Wexler, we are here today at your insistence to consider your motion to exclude evidence, and this is the moment you choose to withdraw? It was unavoidable. May I ask why? Yeah, why? Personal reasons, Your Honor. Would you rather discuss this privately in chambers? Thank you for the consideration, but no. <laughs> Would you care to supply any detail at all? Lalo, that's Your all Honor, I'm going to say. Not <laughs> I'm inclined to have you argue your motion, and then I'll consider late arriving petitions. I'm sorry for wasting the court's time, Your Honor, but it's impossible for me to continue with this hearing. And why is that, Ms. Wexler? Because I'm no longer an attorney. Oh, what? Whoa. Whoa, that changes things. That really screws up with... My predictions about her. Huh. Jimmy obviously doesn't know yet. He will in a sec. Maybe he already knows. Yeah, he knows. You did what? Why? Why? All right, all right. I know why. But Kim, you can't just... Jimmy, shh, I, I... Just let me say my piece, okay? Just, just take a breath here. Kim, you take a breath. Everything that happened, <laughs> I mean, Jesus. I get it. You want to climb out of your own skin. That's natural. But Kim, you don't just throw everything away. That this is your life. You're a lawyer. Uh, what about your clients, huh? What about uh, that poor guy, uh, Mr. Yarborough? What about the kid in foster care? Huh? You give them everything you've got. Who are they going to find who's half as good as you? No one. They need you. It's already done. Oh! Okay, what's done can be undone. You know, all I'm saying is just, just let's take a week or two to think it over. For now, we're gonna take some time off. I think she's already God thought it over. We we're gonna find a new place. We're gonna leave here. We're never ever gonna come back here again. Okay, we're gonna- That would be a good first step, us. but Things not enough. Things will I guarantee it. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. She's moving out. She's leaving him. I was kidding earlier, but it looks like... You asked if you were bad for me. Damn. That's not it. Oh. <laughs> we are bad for each other. Yeah, that is absolutely fact. I have had the time of my life with you. 
So she is breaking up with him. But we are bad for everyone around That's us. why and he's not suffer with her in us. Breaking Bad. Apart, we're okay, but... This actually together, makes sense. Even. Underwhelming, story-wise, because I was expecting something see. big with her, but... Tell me what it is and makes it. sense. Jimmy. No, Kim. You make me happy. We make each other happy. How can that be bad? Hey. Damn, Jimmy's really hurt. No. No. No, Kim, you're wrong. This is about Howard. Okay, what happened to him wasn't on us. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. It was, was absolutely that both are your fault. You knew what, what? I knew he was alive. No, you didn't. It was about a month ago. Oh. I saw that car following me again. And it she knew Lala was alive. Mike Ermintrout had guys watching both of us, watching for Lalo. Mike, Mike told you that Lalo was alive. And you didn't tell me? I thought, I thought it was a one in a million chance that he'd come for us. I thought he would be caught if he did. And I told myself I was protecting you. But that's well, not see the truth. The, where that led to. The real reason I didn't tell you was because I knew what you'd do. Yep. What would I do? You'd, you'd blame yourself. You'd fear for me. You'd want us to run and hide until you were sure I was safe. You would that's a fact. on the scam and then, and uh, we'd break up. Yep. And I didn't want that. But it ended up being that way anyway. But I get her point. Because I was having too much fun. Fun and games, the title, I get it. <laughs> it was all fun and games until Lalo shows up and shoots Howard in the head. Who is that? That's not Kim. Rise and shine, time to go. That's not Kim. <laughs> so Kim already left. Oh, he's in his mansion. So some time has passed. Pay up now or uh, bleed to death. This might be the closest thing to Saul Goodman from Breaking Bad we're ever going to have. OD. I'm so sorry I'm getting another call. Got it. What else you got? And that's exactly oh, that's the mansion that was being uh, repossessed. Yes, and today. In one of the other episodes in the flash forward scene. Damn. This is Saul from Breaking Bad now. Like literally. All this time, I thought Howard's death and potentially what happens to Kim is what changes Jimmy to becoming the real Saul from Breaking Bad. It was Kim breaking up with him that did that. Here's what you do. Stop the check ASAP, then call the station manager. We're obviously going to see the new office. You tell him if the ad doesn't That's make exactly ears, like the Breaking Bad office. That's crazy, though. He's literally the Saul from Breaking Bad now. Oh, another teaser and thing, right? Ready, set, action. Move, move, move. Go, go, go. Run, Armani suits and run. Two, Air Jordan shoes for you. Three, linen shirts for free. Four, cashmere sweaters out the door. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm confused. All right, that was my reaction to season six, episode nine of Better Call Saul, which was called Fun and Games. This was actually a fairly solid episode. I really liked the little scenes between Jimmy and Kim throughout this episode. And I absolutely loved what they did with Mike going to Nacho's father and kind of telling him the news and everything. And obviously, the highlight of this episode is probably going to be the scenes that we saw with Don Eladio making fun of Hector Salamanca that was priceless. I think that's going to become a meme. 
It was really good. In the dark that was this episode, this was the best light moment that kind of took you out of the darkness a little bit. So I really liked that. And also, obviously, at the end, we saw the real transformation from Jimmy McGill to Saul Goodman as we know him in Breaking Bad. So that was awesome. Like I said, I always thought that it was going to be Howard's death that would push Jimmy to really have to become the Saul from Breaking Bad or to transform into the Saul from Breaking Bad or something potentially happening to Kim. But it was actually Kim breaking up with him that did that. That was unexpected and very interesting. I wonder if Kim is going to come back. I think it's a little underwhelming if we never see her again. So I hope we see her again. And I hope that there's some conclusion to her story as well. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, smash that like button. Subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.